and it's day 12. <laughs> and it's a giant box. It's a huge box. And I'm so excited for it. Mm-hmm. It's Scotchmas. We've come to the end. Sad it's the end, but I'm excited it's the end because this is an epic bottle of scotch. Uh, today, we've got Glenn Moore and G. Um, Signet. Words. It's Signet. Signet. Their, uh, their symbol, or their Signet, is where they get the name from for it. Mm-hmm. 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 They, uh, they actually have the tallest stills in Scotland, which they affectionately call the giraffes. <laughs> looks like that. They've, they've set up a foundation, so some of the proceeds go to save the giraffes. I had no idea. Yeah. That's so interesting. Knowledge bombs for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, 1843 is when they opened in the Highlands, next to the river Morangi in a valley. And if you're ever wondering how to say it, what helps me remember is Glen Morangi, like orange. Orange, mm -hmm. Morangi. Morangi. Glen Morangi. Morangi. Yeah. Uh, I want to try this. Mm-hmm. They, uh... While you open that up, I do have to pull up the bottle out of the box. Yeah, show this off. so pretty. Once a year, they do a, a distilling run with uh, chocolate malts, which is the highly roasted, so they're almost chocolatey in their darkness color. And that's the, the base of what they do for, for this. Where normally you just heat the barley to, to stop the malting process. Let's so take that, that extra step further. Give us some chocolatey malts. And I am thrilled to try it. This one was really interesting too. It had such like a heavy cork. Like it's pretty weighty. It just adds to the epicness of the bottle. So anyway. There we go. Try it out. Love perfume. Oh yeah. You'll smell fancy all day. Mm -hmm. So here we go. The final sniff. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was just like barely put your nose to the glass and it just so fruit forward, but just richness. Okay, now I gotta be quiet for a minute and just like sit with it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not putting any water in this. No. Hmm. <sighs> that's just. Wow. I get the coffee notes coming through with the fruit. I don't get any coffee notes. I don't think French roast. Think like a like a fruity light roast. Hmm. Maybe just because I don't drink Fruity Light Rolls very often, so. I just get like candied ginger. Mm -hmm. Like not just ginger, but candied ginger. That's the sweetness. And I got like a peach. Some citrus is coming in. Or oh, candied orange peel. Oh yeah. Everything's candied because it's just so sweet. It is so sweet. The rich maltiness. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You ready? What kind of cask do they say they did this one in? They Which didn't. Did? No. Old and rare casks. Kept it secret. So not not an age statement, but they say they use some some crazy old stuff in the blending. I'm trying to pick out what it might be. Anyway, let's taste it. Yes, please. There's the orange. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, it's like a chocolate orange, almost. Hmm. That smash and, and bite us lift. 
sliver of it. Oh, oh yes, the mm. chocolate orange. Oh, oh. At the end of the sip, you really get some of that, that coffee notes. Try it again. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, the coffee and the chocolate and just that, that dryness that, that you get from, from all of those. It's just, oh, yum. This mm. is unlike any scotch I've had. It's definitely like a milk chocolate mm -hmm. flavor to it. Mocha y, like a like a mocha. Sip of a Almost mocha. Almost like malty. Mm. Like I get a little like throwback to Wendy's chocolate malts. <laughs> okay. So there's some chocolate frosty going on for you. Yes, there you go. Not to like cheapen it. <laughs> no, no <laughs> like this is more than the 99 cent frosty. <laughs> 99 cent frosty, Glenmore J. Signet, probably. <laughs> Just brings back those. That was like the treat that my mom and I, we used to get when we'd go out, like be like shopping and doing errands with her growing up. And we'd stop at Wendy's and get the 99 cent frosty, chocolate frosty melt. That's what I love about smells, just bringing you back to different memories and things. Mm -hmm. I love everything about this. Yes. I don't want to, I just want to keep smelling it. I don't uh -huh. want to taste it too fast. Every taste brings gone. us closer to the end of Scotchmas. That's okay. That's okay. Good beginnings to 2021. Wow. I mean, we couldn't pick a better end to Scotchmas and a better Whiskey Wednesday than this. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Love it. This is the fun stuff we get to do with Scotch Miss and get some really pretty special bottles. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite like splurge bottle that you've bought, whether it's for yourself or sharing with friends? Um, what's that like one that you've like thought about or sought after and finally like splurged and mm. tasted? Give us recommendations. Put them below in the comments. You know what I'm getting now? Yeah, what's that? Like that strawberry or cherry licorice. Kinda, almost like the pull and peel. Oh, you remember the pull yeah. and peel? I love the pull and peel. It's <laughs> like nine pieces soft. of candy in one. Right? <laughs> Winning. So many pieces of childhood in here. Chocolate Frosties, Twizzler pull and peel. What else can we add in there? I got a little bit of the peach, but I wouldn't quite go so far as saying peachios, but. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Don't ruin this peachios. for me. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. I, I want more. I could just sit and sip on this for a long time. Let's do that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Nothing stopping us. It's about dram time. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, on that note, thanks everyone for joining us. This mm -hmm. has been a, another special season of Scotchmas. Yeah, we love it. Uh, Twenty-three other friends that joined us and made this possible. Uh, thank you again. To all our viewers, thanks for coming along on this ride with us. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Slanja. Slanja.